In this video here, we're going to start out doing everything wrong. We're going to use prepackaged ingredients. We're going to take frozen vegetables, canned ginger, canned tomatoes, a bag of cashews, some yogurt, and cream. And to keep going with the bad theme, we're even going to use the microwave to make part of this meal. And we're going to turn it into an amazing vegetable curry, or actually called a vegetable handi. But don't let the prepackaged ingredients and the fact that we're using a microwave dissuade you. This is going to be a healthy and delicious meal. So let's get started. So the first and pretty much only chopping we need to do in this recipe is to thinly slice up some onions. And we're actually going to be browning them in the microwave. So put them in a pan, put some oil in there, mix it all up, and let's toss it in the microwave. This is microwave for five minutes. Go ahead and let it cook in the microwave, stir it up. And I had to do this for a total of 12 minutes. So I just did it on two minute intervals just to make sure I didn't burn the onions. I think I probably could have done five minutes and then four minutes and it would have been okay. But I did five minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, one minute. Um, and then we got these nice golden brown onions here. Go ahead and set that aside, let it cool off and let's prep our vegetables. So I did about half the amount of time that was recommended to steam them in a bag. So it was about four minutes for each of my bags of vegetables. I did peas and carrots and also cauliflower. And then I just set all that aside. Got my flame on to about medium high heat, put in some oil, I let that heat up for a little bit. And then I tossed in some bay leaves, three cloves, one piece of dark cardamom, which gives it this really amazing smoky flavor, some cinnamon and my cashews. And of course, a couple of regular green cardamom. Stir that all up, let it sort of toast in the oil for a little bit. Then we're gonna add in two slightly crushed cloves of garlic, about a tablespoon of ginger. Stir that all up. Don't want anything to burn, so we're just gonna stir it up for a little bit. And next we're gonna add in some of that tomato sauce, about half of it, so about one cup. And stir that in. We're gonna let that cook for a while until the oil starts to come up onto the surface of the sauce. Next, add in our onions that we fried up in the microwave. <laughs> Toss that right in there and give that a good stir. And we're gonna pull all of that out and we're gonna blend it up so it's nice and smooth and also so that we don't have to worry about those whole spices being in our food. It's very common in Indian cooking to have whole spices in the food, but I kinda like to just blend it up and make it a nice smooth sauce. Put it back in your pot, add a little bit of water back into it and stir that around. We're gonna cook that for a little bit more, maybe another two to three minutes. And after it's cooked for another two to three minutes, We'll add in about a cup of yogurt and stir that up. That's going to help give it that really rich creaminess, that and the cashews. And of course, we're going to add in some cream later on. But right now, we just have the yogurt and we're ready to go in with the vegetables. So toss in the cauliflower and our peas and carrots, green beans and corn mixture and stir that up. And then we're going to finish cooking the vegetables in here. So we're going to add a little bit more water. It's kind of a little bit thick. Stir that all up. And then we're just gonna let that cook for another five minutes or so. Now we're just gonna finish it off with some garam masala. And then of course, we're gonna add some kasuri methi, which is fenugreek leaves. And it really does add that amazing finish to Indian dishes that really gives you that restaurant taste. And let's not forget to finish it off with about a half a cup of cream. Just drizzle that in there, stir it all up. For one last bit of brightness to it, we're just going to toss in some chopped cilantro leaves. Really adds in that sort of lighter green flavor to the end of the dish. And there we go. A beautiful veg curry, veg handy, done and delicious. Healthy with easy to use ingredients. Hey, not bad.